Hello, this is Hector Vladimir. Today is Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. I wanted to discuss a couple of topics that have outraged me. One of them I found out by accident. I wanted to find out what was the rate of kilowatt hours, the prices for each kilowatt hour of electric energy from the company Georgia Power here in Georgia. I was shocked to find out that in the summer, this summer 2024, the rates for the peak hours of production, which they consider to be from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day of the week, are going to be charged every kilowatt hour at 29 cents per kilowatt hour. That is extremely outrageous. The highest per kilowatt hour charge I've heard of is 14 cents for the summer months and for power used above 1,000 kilowatts per hour or 1,000 kilowatt hours. But 29 cents is ludicrous to me. It is beyond abusive and criminal. Yet, this is what they're charging. This is according to their website that I found online that has this outrageous statement. And I believe it because I just got a high bill extremely high bill for my power and the summer's just getting started for the period of 13 May to 13 June. Additionally, I wanted to discuss another topic on top of this outrageous finding that I accidentally found online while looking for energy rates. It's this other article that I found from Energy and Environment, the website. It is actually from the Georgia Recorder which is an online version of the magazine, I believe. And this article is under the energy and environment section of the magazine, I suppose. And it was actually from last year, May 16, 2023, not too long ago. And it is extremely relevant to today, the situation that we find ourselves in here in the state with the crisis is nothing less than a crisis, this energy cost crisis. And the article title is State Regulators Approve 12% Georgia Power Rate Hike to Start This Summer. Again, that was last year, summer of 2023. And the article is by Stanley Dunlop. And it has a caption, a photo with a caption, Georgia Public Service Commission, the state's utility regulatory agency, might be having second thoughts about Georgia Power's rush to get out of coal-fired electricity. The photo is by John McCosh from the Georgia Recorder. And the photo is apparently of Georgia Power's headquarters in Atlanta. Georgia Power customers will see their electric bills rise dramatically starting June as the company begins to recoup $2.1 in fuel costs. The average Georgia Power household will begin paying 12% more for monthly utility bills as summer temperatures rise in June after state regulators on Tuesday approved the company's 6.6 billion 6.6 billion fuel expense plan the republican controlled five member public service commission unanimously approved an agreement that lets the state's largest utility company recover 2.1 billion recover 2.1 billion in under budgeted under budgeted costs for coal and natural gas that should be on air quotes under budgeted under budgeted but it's not on the article i'll continue the terms of the agreement will result in the typical residential customer paying about $16 more, $16 more for monthly utilities over a three-year period. The Southern Environmental Law Center estimates that in 2025, households will be paying about $500 more, $500 more annually for utilities. When Georgia Power customers absorb six rate hikes, six rate hikes for fuel costs. Annual increases in electric rates and the tab that comes due for the completion of the nuclear expansion plant, Voctel. Just as a reminder, we have talked about this debacle project a few times. But continuing, during the few case hearings, Georgia residents expressed their frustration about the burden imposed by higher utility bills and complained that commission members often support the state's largest utility over residents' financial well-being. Isn't that true? Continuing, the new fuel rates also includes an additional 4.4 billion, 4.4 billion in projected fuel costs for the next three years. Cody Norred, executive director of Georgia Interfaith Power and Lights, said the organization is disappointed that PSC officials 
didn't adopt the organization's request that Georgia Power be more transparent about how many families are having trouble keeping their power on because of financial difficulties. Georgia Power cut off about 10%, 10%, 10% of Georgia Power's residential customers last year due to non-payment. This is a justice issue. Georgia Power blew through its fuel budget, blew through its fuel budget last year when the price of fossil fuels skyrocketed, but at the same time it pocketed billions in record profits. No red said, now customers are going to have to readjust their family budgets to find space for increasing bills with no relief in sight. The company requested reimbursement, reimbursement for excess fuel costs incurred last year due to inflation, driving up natural gas prices and other energy sources to provide electricity to its 2.7 million, million customers. Under Georgia law, utilities can require ratepayers to cover for the cost of fuel provided they can prove that their previous and future costs aren't due to negligence or illegal. That is a funny use of words there in that last sentence. Georgia Power officials say the company does not earn a profit on its fuel costs. I doubt that very much. Georgia Power has been criticized. Just as a side note, they may not make a profit on fuel costs, but they surely maintain their abusively and obscenely high pays and bonuses by not paying for that fuel and passing the bill down to the customers. Continuing on with the article, Georgia Power has been criticized for not sharing a financial responsibility for its fuel charges and for not extending the latest fuel payment period by more than four years to ease the burden on ratepayers. Commissioner Lauren Bubba McDonald said that while the regulated monopoly, regulated monopoly is transitioning from coal-fired power plants, a new emphasis is to commit to a more diverse combination of energy sources, including natural gas and solar power. McDonald blamed the Biden administration for the hike in the average price of natural gas between 2016 and 2020, between 2016 and 2020, an increase from 2.65 to five dollars this year. Funny they blame Biden for a period in which he was not even a president. In the Green New Deal energy policy at the federal administration, that is why we're faced with these issues with the cost of gasoline, the cost of transportation of coal, and every other product we have, McDonald said. The PSC agreed on Tuesday to give low-income seniors an additional $1.50 discount, $1 discount on their utilities on Tuesday as a slight reprieve for those people living on fixed budgets. That is a slap in the face. If you ask me, a $1.50 discount on their utility bill? Give me a break. That's on top of the $2 discount. $2 discount. Wow, how gracious of them. Previously included in the just approved package. Seniors enrolled in the company's low-income plan will now receive a $33.50 discount on their monthly bills, up from the original $30. Big round of applause for Georgia Power for giving some senior citizens a whopping $33.50. I agree with intervening parties in the fuel cost recovery docket that the income qualified senior citizen fuel discount should be increased. No shit. So there is a proportional impact to ratepayers, PAC Chairwoman Tricia Pritmore said. And that is the article. Of course, they failed to mention that these rate hikes not only being abusive and criminal, but they affect a large majority of the very poor and desperate Georgia population, Georgia people here in the state, which are among the poorest in the nation. This is among the most unequal states, yes, the state may be rich in wealth and resources, but that wealth and resources very unevenly distributed and unfairly distributed, meaning it leaves out swaths of the Georgia population. And mainly in those groups are indigenous people, people of color, people of immigrant background, minorities. So here we are in 2024 now suffering one of the hottest summers that I've seen so far. It is only now June 19th and the heat has been sweltering. I mean there has been about a 10 day stretch of weather over 35 degrees Celsius here in the state. No rain, very little rain, very little moisture in the air and hot weather during the day and at night as well. 
and the carnage goes on here with the power company getting their way getting whatever rate hike they want getting approved all kinds of measures to recoup i never understood that recoup money that they used i mean this is ridiculous this is a private corporation being allowed to bid for energy costs and energy expenditures make money off of that don't tell me that they're not making money off of those deals with energy purchases buying energy or fuel wholesale and then coming back in the back end saying that they underestimated the amount of fuel that they needed and now they have to recoup a couple of billion dollars worth of fuel costs and pass it down to the customers pass it down to the customers as they said it is projected that the average energy bill is going to be about five hundred dollars five hundred dollars per month in the state of Georgia by 2025 and that is just horrendous they say the nationwide average for electric energy bill is a little over $150 per month but that is misleading I believe very much misleading because that is the average the average can be a misleading metric because the average is nothing but a measure of a total amount distributed equally among all the participants of an entire group so in a specific group there could be just a few people paying thousands of dollars for their energy bill and there could be just a few people paying a few tenths of dollars 30 40 50 dollars for their energy bill and at the same time there could be a very large bulk very large percentage of that group paying 300 350 or 400 dollars per month yet the average comes out to be 150 which is misleading for that the mode is a better statistical metric to go with that is the metric a range of numbers like a small range of electric bills let's say from 50 to 75 75 to 150 150 to 200 etc and those smaller groups you could take the mode and find out which group occurs the most in a period of time which power bill actually is the one being paid the most and I believe that's what these people have done or something similar and they expect $500 to be the most paid amount I am not really sure if they did that it looks like they did otherwise I believe that number would be a bit lower only because the average electric bill as I have found out in the US is an unbelievable less than hundred and seventy dollars another thing that they may have done with that figure of five hundred dollars per month is the utility bill being encompassing of all of the households utility payments such as water sewer telephone internet and electric as well as gas for heat etc so yes when you take that whole number it does make sense now I have just looked up the average utility cost in Georgia and it does say right now it is about four hundred and eleven dollars per month which is quite scary and disturbing to find out it is that high when I look up the average utility cost in US it jumps to a whopping and eye-watering six hundred and nine dollars six hundred and nine dollars and ninety cents effectively six hundred and ten dollars so when I look for instead of average I put mode let's see what that does I'm not sure how accurate this is but it did go down to four hundred and twenty nine dollars per month it still says the average so it may take a bit more digging for you to find the mode of this electric bill of this utility payment for whatever states you want to or even the US or any other nation and I believe it to be a quite more useful metric thank you very much that is all for now thanks thank you for listening to this podcast please look for the next episode soon and please ensure to share this with your friends and family and please like this content and subscribe 
as a sign of support and for me to continue to provide this type of content to more people like you. Lastly, if you wish to support this content further, please visit the links provided in this application. Thank you.